Hey guys, welcome along, welcome back. Um, I've got another review for you. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, or a few days ago, I did a review on this kit. This is the 32nd scale Apollo 11 spacecraft with interior. And a few keener eyed amongst you, I didn't notice it. On the front of the box, this is level five, I can't think why. And then on the instructions, it said level four. So I, I didn't notice that, but you guys did. But it's, um, it's not a bad little kit. And if you remember, I printed off the old instructions because it tells you what all the actual items are. So it's good to know the names of all these bits and pieces. Um, and if you also remember, we got these. These are decals, decals, whatever you want to call them. And they are lovely, aren't they? They are for the interior, for the instrument panel and everything. And if that's not toy-like, I don't know what is. And also this green color is, um, I don't know where they got that from. Uh, it's, um, but it's not correct. It should be a, a sort of very light, um, sort of grey, bluey, greeny colour, um, but uh, more on that later. So what have I got for you today to review? I've got this, which is the exterior detail set from Newware for this very kit. I've got these. These are the decals, decals, for this very kit. And I've got this, which is the interior from Newware for this very kit and if you turn it over look you can see we've got photo etched panels and everything for all the interior and you can see the size of these things are huge so um there we go so let me get the bench cleared up and we'll have a look at all this stuff right so let's make a start on this uh this is basically a review of three update sets if you like i've got my old um Ravel instructions here for reference if we need to refer to uh wherever these parts fit so I'm going to make a start with the interior set, which is NW002, as you can see. Um, so all these drawings are in double size. So it's telling us to use CA glue and it's telling us that some of the Apollo parts, when they say Apollo parts, they mean the plastic parts have to be modified to fit. So um, basically we can see straight away that when we look at this, we, sorry, we've got three A4 sheets here. Um, two of them are double sided printed. And you can see that what we're actually replacing is that. Um, I think you'll agree there's quite a difference. I mean, they've got the general sort of gist of the layout, but um, I think you'll agree that this is a little bit nicer than that. Just just a little bit. Um, so basically, we've got in this set two sheets of photo etch, both 14 centimetres square, and um, a total of about 70 parts I counted on here. A little bit difficult because as usual with PE because of the reflecting of the light and everything so um but these are going to need a, a clean off I can see they've got something on them so they're going to need a wash before um before we do any painting or anything on them but um we can see that uh if I use the white backing it makes it easier we've got the main sort of instrument panel here and then these panels go on afterwards and you can see here that basically what it's telling us to do is glue this to a part point 22 which will be the instrument panel, part 22. So instead of putting this decal on there, we're going to put that on there. So, um, and it's basically going to be built up. So you've got a lamination, you've got that panel there going on first, and then these panels going on afterwards. So if these panels, they are all grey, so you're going to get this sort of the proper look um, so we need to take these off the frets, clean off all the edges and then paint them and go around the sides as well because we're going to see the sides of them and they will actually look like a, a, a screwed on or, or fixed somehow panel rather than, um, than a flat featureless decal. Um, there's no etching on the back of them so they're single side etched and it's also, they're both, both these sheets are six thigh thick. So we can see there we've got various panels for different areas of the, uh, of the craft. And then we've got these parts down here, which I'm not quite sure what they are yet. So let's have a look. You're looking at this with me fresh as well. So here we can see where this is the panel here. So we're going to attach this to part 12. So this is probably the overhead console or something, which is this panel here. And then we're going to add various little bits and pieces to it. And uh, it's giving us all the painting directions and everything on there. Um, as a matter of interest, which is Apollo part 12? that one so it's the is it the rear wall I 
How's this all going in? Okay, so that's going in there like that. Yeah, I think that's the rear wall. So um, it really is a complete interior, this. And then we've got here, we've got parts going into the sides. So this is going to be the side consoles. And um, it's telling us here we need to bend, bend this part, part three, which is there. So we've got to bend that one. Sorry, you know, it's part 20, isn't it? Part 20, which is here. So we've got to bend that up and then attach that part 21 to it. So there we go. And then we've got this, this more panels going on here. And then there's another side panel here, which is pretty much a mirror of the other side by the look of it. Um, and some more switches and stuff. And it's telling us all that the colours to paint. And the way to do this, if those if those buttons are recessed, then what I would suggest is um, painting the whole panel grey, giving it a clear coat, then painting it black and wiping it off. And you'll leave the, the black down in the recesses. That's a really good way of getting the... Uh, the good effect in there or what you can do is paint it grey and then give it a couple of heavy washes and that'll all come up um, black then and then we got a little bit of colouring to go on here got some brown squares it says red button and yeah all the instructions are there but you can also look at photographic references and then we've got this part here this looks like um yeah so this part here is going into uh, part 23 and if you look in the instructions part 23 is basically the um the, the front if you like the part that's in the nose of the uh lunar module the uh, command module sorry so it's here and all you get in the kit is basically a hole you don't get anything you get this part to go around it but you don't get anything if you look through the hole you'll just see the back of the this here the docking ring so so what they're giving you there is actually like a, a wall to roll around and then what you're going to do is glue that to the hole in part 23 and then put this hatch over it so that becomes the, what you're what they saw inside with the uh, the hatch before it was connected up to the lunar module and then they removed the hatch removed all the docking ring and um in they went and if the case of apollo 13 they lived in there for a few days so um got some more parts going on here and then moving on now to the last page we got those um antenna going on which is uh, which is a lovely addition to replace some pretty chunky plastic parts so as I said, we can see here, I'll just give you a close-up shot of all this, this beautiful photo etch. So we can see there, I'll try and get the light for you without it uh, glaring. So there we can see lovely etch detail and uh, very nice indeed. It's going to look lovely with uh, some good detail painting, a bit of thought around your painting. Like I say, paint things black first and then put grey on or whatever. Or vice versa and then um, I'll come up absolutely stunning and then we've got this one here so we've got more interior panelling here it's nice how they've got all the edges of all the panels correct as well sort of bolted edges and serrated edges in some places so it's all looking lovely and then we've got our antenna here which look really really nice they're gonna look great they're lovely in scale and the nice thing is you also get a set of these in that exterior set I'm going to review in a minute. So there we go. So that's the interior set. And all in all, 70 parts of photo etch to replace that. Well worth getting, I think. Okay, so secondly, we're going to look at the uh, the decal set, the decal set for the um, command service module. And this is NWD002M. Again, this is from Newware. While I'm on the subject, guys, um, I have emailed Tom twice about this and told him about my reviews and I've had no reply, which is quite disappointing as I've spent quite a lot of money with him this uh, last couple of weeks. Um, but just a word of warning, if you look on his website and you look at NW008, which is the set I, I reviewed last week for the 196 Ravel kit, um, be mindful there is a link on there to Tracy Cornfield's pages on building a 196 Saturn V. Um, that takes you to a link that says these have now moved. Don't do go there. It's a porn site and it's got a phishing virus in it. So um, 
yeah, I've told him about it and said he needs to take it down, um, but I've had no reply whatsoever. So, a little disappointed there, Tom. Um, anyway, not disappointed with this in the slightest. This is a beautiful little seat of uh, sheet of decals, decals, and they're um, absolutely lovely. They're beautifully printed. They've got no visible carrier film on them. Um, I'm wondering if they actually need to be varnished. In fact, it could be that they're actually not individual decals. It could be this is one sheet. So uh, they may have to be cut out individually and um, see what happens. But um, they are very, very nice. So um, it's not saying anything about whether to cut them out individually or not, but um, I'll have to do a little test sample first. But um, basically what we've got here is, I've got counting them, there's lots of uh, decals on here and there's lots and lots of little stencils and I'll just get up closer up to the camera so you can see them. And they are extremely nice. I don't know if we can get close enough. You'll probably just about read it. So, um, yeah, the flags all look the right colours and everything. Everything's beautifully in register. And, um, yeah, very clear, crystal clear printing on there as well. And when you compare them to, again, this, what you get with the kit, um, they're just a little bit better, aren't they? Just a touch. So it looks like maybe you have to use these on the, uh, these are probably um, astronauts suits they are for, I think. So we probably have to use them. But basically, there we go, that's that. And then we've got a sheet here, which is telling us about all the placement and everything. Um, and this is for the actual command module itself. And then we've got this, all the service modules here. So it's also telling you, like it did with the um, NW008 set, you've got different, um, you've got different decals called up for different Apollo missions, which is really good, so you can accurately build the right one. Um, so here it's saying S1A for Apollo 11. And where's S1A? I cannot see S1A, it's S1A. So S1A is the same as S1, but without the white backing. So it's saying you have to paint a gray rectangle 4.5 by three millimeters under all decals S1A. So if you use S1A, so if you do an Apollo 11, you need to paint the gray rectangle underneath first. Um, whereas if you're using S1 for all the others, you don't, there's already a white backing on it. And it's also giving you an idea of the panel layouts here for Apollo 14. So there, so S3 was moved up and there S1 was moved over to the right. So we've really done his research here and gone to town and to, to give you the sort of best chance of building an accurate um, command service module. And then you've got Apollo 15, Apollo 17, all the different placements here. It's really, really good. Apollo 15 and 60 only. It's really good that he's gone to all this trouble. Um, and I'm also wondering, does it give you... I'm wondering if we have decals for the actual, um, it looks like we might have, for the actual clear panel as well. It looks like we may well have that. So that's interesting. So yeah. Um, hang on, no. One, two, yes he has, because it's got four, so it must be the full, must be the full 360 degrees on there. But there's nothing in this panel here. Oh, there is in this one though. So if you're building Apollo 15 to 17, it's that one. And if you're building 7 to 14, it's that one. Um, I don't know which I'll be doing. I was thinking about doing this as Apollo 13, but then I'd have to have a 30 second scale lunar module on the front of it because I don't know that this was ever sort of in, in use without the lunar module um, attached to it. So I guess it could be just in between when he went back to get the room module. I guess I could do that. But um, it would be nice if someone did a 30 second scale lunar module, wouldn't it? So there we go, guys. That's your, um, that's your NWD002 decal sheet for, for the Apollo spacecraft in 30 second scale. And uh, my recommendation is to get it. And um, one other thing I've meant to say, the last set I looked at, which was the interior set, is $35 from uh, Newware. 
the decals are seven dollars and the next set I'm going to show you which is the exterior set is sixty dollars so basically 102 dollars gets you all of this right so now we move on to the uh, piece de resistance um, this is the NW070 exterior set and as you can see it's boxed this one rather than just bagged and going around the box we can see that we've just got the uh, email address or the website address on there and it's telling us it's a construction kit containing detail parts um, glue and paint not included age 10 and over and there we go so let's have a look in this box it's a very tight fitting lid I have had a quick peek some lovely packaging there so we've got one bag of resin parts got some instructions a CD and some photo etch so all in all very very nice in a nice little rigid cardboard box right so basically this is your set this is the um, NW070 set and I've got the plastic parts out here to do some comparisons with I've had a quick look on the photo CD there's 10 pictures on there absolutely stunning really really good close-up pictures of the um, the foil and everything that was used on the uh, on the command module so um yeah really really good pictures and there's one there with the uh, with an astronaut just coming out of the hatch on EVA so really interesting to see so what we've got in here is um some uh, resin parts and some photo etch parts we've got two sheets of photo etch as you can see here and what's this one this one is roughly 14 centimeters square uh, and this one is what's that um, it's 14 centimeters long and about five centimeters wide so plenty of parts on there for you to uh, to keep you occupied and make your model really stand out I've had a quick look through these instructions and some of the stuff is quite stunning these EVA handles here which are these parts here they um, there's some clever folding required on them so you're going to basically fold it up then down and then fold it back up so you end up with the with the shape there with the um, so the AVA handle is just like a thin strap um, and then you've got these little ones here which slide so they're they're made up and then we've got some resin parts here that have a ring that go in them a piece of PE little PE um, semicircular ring wherever they may be they're on here somewhere they must be P33 there they are two tiny little rings on there so those two little tiny rings there they're going to basically go inside them and that's the lifting rings they lifted it from the from the sea with and obviously then we've got these panels here on the sides which go around the actual main um, the main structure and if you look at the the plastic molding and compare this you can see it's uh, it's quite a difference so yeah get that on there a bit of misty surface around the edge and then blend it in with some alcohol and make them look as though they're part of it rather than stuck on panels um, we've also got these antenna here and then we've got the shrouds for our thrusters here we've got the circular ones there and we've got the uh, I call them goggles there they look like a pair of goggles don't they um, and then some various little brackets and I, I, I was looking just now at the assembly of the uh, of the light the EVA light it's um, quite stunning you've got this bracket that goes on you use the plastic part and trim it and make it all different shapes and fit that on like that um, <clears throat> you've got these little RCS housings they go around the outside of the thrusters um, and then you've got the different um, ways that it was laid out you can see here Apollo 7 to 11 so that's that then we've got our little um, panels that go around the um, around the engine cover that's those two uh, those two resin parts there which have got the, um, the accurate sort of unflatness about them if that's the word <laughs> um, and then we've got a folded up box there to go around where's that going 3a that's going on the end here so that's going to look great that's the looks like a junction box for the antenna or something 
Um, yeah, the hardest part I think is going to be folding these antenna, but I think for them, I've got a big ball bearing here, and I think what I'll do is I'll put them on top of a rubber and just literally roll around with the with the ball in the middle until they get to the right shape. I think that'll work well. Um, and then we've got these resin panels here, which if you look on the plastic part, these wider panels are absolutely fine. The detail on them is fine, but these are very, very simplistic. So Tom's made these resin panels to go in. So um, you get them to go all the way around, even on the clear parts. So they'll look quite good. Um, <clears throat> and I, if you remember, if you go back to the review, you'll see that the clear parts that go in here and in here, they actually have um, surface detail on them. So if you wanted to stick these parts, the photo etch and the resin onto the clear, I think that would look quite effective to have the clear, but with with sort of, you know, um, solid parts on top of it, I think that would look quite good. So all in all, there you go, guys. Um, oh, we've got the hatch window there, which you put over the hatch and then you cut out and you um, put a clear piece in there. The hatch window is there. So it's already cut out. That's a bit strange. It's telling you to put that part over there. Oh, I see. It needs to be trimmed. That's all. You need to trim that out so that it, uh, so that you get the clear window looking through. Just get yourself a piece of thin acetate to go in from behind. And um, and there you go, guys. All the little detail parts going on here. And uh, yeah, very, very nice, a very nice set. And as I said, this is available from uh, Newware Models and it is $60, which I think for all of that is pretty reasonable. And it's um, it's certainly going to make this stand out in the crowd. Um, I'll be building this, I'll put it on the Ravel stand, I'll be using all the interior, all the decals, everything, get a nice, beautiful um, Alclair chrome finish on here. Or I might go for the tape effect. We'll see yet. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope you've liked this. And um, please give me a like and subscribe. Hit that notifications bell if you want to be inundated with emails about what I'm uh, putting up on here. <laughs> um, there's a Saturn V build going on at the moment. There's a shuttle build going on at the moment. There's lots of space stuff and World War II stuff and all sorts on the channel. So uh, have a look around and... Um, there's going to be something there for everyone. And while I'm at it, I've also started up a Patreon channel. I've put a link down below. If you feel like you want to donate something to the channel, it would be much appreciated. I'm trying to raise the money now to get a better camera. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Happy modeling. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.